Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gavin Smith at Gavin Smith Fitness. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and a happy new year. But now it's time to get back to business. So first ever vlog, just to show you how I do my cut and if you can copy the principles that I do and apply them in your own fitness regime, all the better. So stay tuned and let's go. So day one, so it's January 2nd, 2018. This is the physique, okay? Non-flexed. Let's see what we can do. So day one, weigh-in. So that's the physique update done. Now it's time for the weigh-in. So we're gonna step on the scales. 84.6 kg. Yeah, I've got that second toe longer than the first toe thing going on here. Don't judge me, man. It's 2018, bruh. So, first meal of the day, we have got 70 grams of all bran, so that's our carbs, and then we've got some healthy fats and the peanut butter. And we've got protein and our whey protein. I use the whey protein isolate by my protein, the chocolate caramel flavor, and we're gonna have 200 mils of milk in the all bran. So, good carbs, fats, and protein, well balanced breakfast. So, plans for today, we don't have any clients till tomorrow, so today we're gonna go to the gym where I work at, we're gonna have a workout, we're gonna be hitting a pull workout or upper body, we don't know yet. We'll decide on the way there. And yeah, we're also going to hand out some flyers, gonna post these for some mailboxes, so look at that though. Wait for it to focus, if it is gonna focus, or don't focus. Personal training flyers trying to pump up the business. Yep, and right, before we go on to the workout, just gonna show you my burnt ass chicken breast. It looks kind of disgusting, yeah, but still gonna eat that shit. So that's 200 grams, got that from Muscle Food, and we've got some burnt ass rice. <laughs> this, this meal prep is going amazing. <laughs> Always watch when you're cooking, okay? I always end up with some burnt ass rice and some burnt ass chicken breast. But yeah. The Lambo. Jeez. Jeez. Skr skr. Oh my god. Actual glistening. So fresh, so clean. Oh, damn, look at those. Look at those though. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at those rims. Jeez. Extremely grateful to have this car though, because some people don't have cars, and yeah, I love this car. It's like a wee mini go kart. I've had it for like two, maybe three years now. Awesome car, love it. Yo, what's going on guys? Just a quick wee note before we get into the proper voiceover. If you want to try these workouts, all you need to do is just screenshot it and then obviously it'll be in your photos and you'll have a slight picture obviously with the screenshot of what the exercise is and it has the rep schemes at the bottom. So I hope you enjoy this voiceover and the workout and I hope you gain a lot of value from it and let's go. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to the first ever vlog. We're starting off with the first workout ever recorded for the books okay it's going to be a pull workout so what we're going to be doing here is back and biceps that's what a pull workout is if you didn't know that already so what we're doing right now as you can probably see at the bottom of the screen we're doing scapular pull-ups so we're really focusing on retracting our scap as you can see i'm going up without using my arms so basically what we're doing here is we're doing a pull-up without using our arms to get everyone firing so when we go into our muscle upsets everything's firing the way it should be so next we have got our warm-up sets for our muscle up. So we've got a wee bit thicker bands. We're not trying to go tire ourselves out here. We're just getting used to the movement. So stand in the band. If you're doing this and using your own band, don't worry, it won't snap, trust me. So what a muscle up is, is, is basically a pull-up trans transcending into a straight bar dip. So we're using everything from our lats and the pull-up and our biceps 
to the zip part of the portion, which will include lower chest and tricep. So let's say we're not really trying to fry ourselves here, just trying to get nice and warm for our working sets. Any questions guys, just fire them in the comment section below, okay? So what we're really focusing on here, everything nice and tight, and really try to drive our elbows down as hard as we can. Right, now we are going into our first working set, okay? Assessing muscle ups, we've got the red band, it's a wee bit thinner, so it's gonna be a wee bit harder. So key points guys, false grip, because if you're gripping on too tight, you're not gonna be able to do that transition into the straight bar dip. Quads nice and tight, same as when you're doing pull-ups. If your quads are tight and your glutes are tight, your bum muscles are tight, you're gonna go over the bar so much easier, you're gonna go up so much faster. I'd say really focus on driving those elbows down and then get your chest over the bar and pushing up your triceps and back of the arms. Try and keep your legs as straight as you can. Try not to swing them too much. You're just going to make the exercise so much harder. Right. After that, we tried one body weight without a band. This is a nasty ass rep. So, but it's just, it's good to measure progress. So as you can see, one arm went over first. We want to make sure both go over at the same time. It just looks a lot more cleaner. I tried another one. Didn't exactly pan out. Right. Now we're on to our weighted pull-ups. So we've got 20 kilo on the belt. That's two. Breathing out as we're driving our elbows down. So this is gonna help dramatically with your lats. So the lats are the ones at the side of your back. The wings, if you may call them that. Next, we moved on to a bent over barbell row. So we're leaning over. and really focus on driving those elbows back. Once again, it's a back exercise. We're also gonna get a wee bit of biceps in here. So remember, muscles pull, so lean as far forward as you can. Next, we moved on to a superset. So a superset is two exercises back to back. So we've got an Aussie row and we've got a TRX bicep curl. So these are both kind of calisthenics movements, just using your body weight or not, also the TRX. If you've got a set of rings in your gym, you can also use those for this exercise. So I'm using the dumbbells to stop me falling on my ass because the floor's a bit slidey. So yeah, that's why those are there. They're not just there for sure. And we're really focusing on squeezing our back in this one. Try and think about squeezing your shoulder blades together. You're breathing out as you're pulling up and your wrists are straight the whole time. So with both these exercises, guys, if you want to make them harder, you're going to walk towards the TRX. So you're going to walk your, walk your feet towards it. If you want to make it easier, you're going to walk back the way. So what we're doing now is we're doing a bicep exercise. So as I say, if you want to make it harder, walk towards the wall in my case, or the TRX. If you want to make it easier, walk back the way. So we're really focusing on curling towards our forehead, feeling it in our bicep. No rest in between these two exercises. Right, now we're doing a wee isolation. So an isolation just means we've only got one muscle group in here. We're trying to hit the rear delt. So the delt is just a fancy name, well not even a fancy name, a shorter name for shoulder. So we're hitting that rear delt, so the back of the shoulder here. A lot of people forget to include rear delts in their, in their, in their training regime. I like it because if you don't have it in it, you see a lot of guys with like their rounded shoulders, that's from doing too much pushing exercises and not hitting enough rear delts and stretching the shoulders, obviously. Right, one of my other favorite core exercises has got to be the hollow hold. So it's a static hold, you're gonna point your toes, legs straight out, heels off the ground, tuck your chin, roll your shoulder blades forward and extend your arms fully. Have a timer, I use my phone as a timer. So it's a hold, you're gonna hold that for 45 seconds to a minute. If you can only hold 30 seconds, that's perfectly cool. Even if you can only hold 20, somewhere to start. If you find it's playing too much in your back, just bring your knees slightly up and your back will automatically go to the floor making it a wee bit easier in your back. So after that, we moved on to our final part of our training is our back training. Every minute on the minute slam balls. So it's a wee bit of hit cardio. So what we're doing is we're doing 15 reps of slam balls every minute on the minute. So with the timer, you're gonna start your timer obviously at zero, zero, zero. Start a timer, 15 reps, however long it takes you to do it. 
the remainder of that minute is your rest. I want to thank you all for watching and stay tuned. Back out nutrition. So we've got in the shaker we've got 50 grams of oats and 40 grams of the way I pro the whey protein isolate by my protein chocolate caramel flavor. Really good with oats. Very very good. And we've got a banana for some fast acting carbohydrate sugars. Keep it simple. Sugars to replace the muscle glycogen lost when you're training and obviously a protein. Third meal of the day, we've got some 200 grams of chicken and 75 grams of long grain brown rice. So we've got our carbs in the brown rice and then we've got our protein in the chicken breast. So fifth meal of the day, we've got five rice cakes and fish in a rice cake <laughs> <laughs> and some 50 grams of almonds and 30 grams of cashews we're a wee bit behind on our fats today so a very large amount of calories is in this container but they're essential fats so good to have in your cut and rice cakes are good for volume which helps make you feel nice and filled last meal if you can even call it a meal of the day we've got tin of sardines so we've got our fats and protein in there with some omega 3s and then we've got peanut butter for some fats and protein shake 40 grams of the whey protein isolate and that's us for today the first week is going to be fairly boring like food wise just to clear up my skin stuff like that I, can't, I don't want to really mess around with too much sugar too much processed foods the most important thing at the end of the yeah. The most important thing at the end of the day guys is you're in a caloric deficit which means you're burning more calories than you're consuming which is then going to tap into the body fat and then that's how you lose weight, that's how you get leaner, that's how you get the physique you want. Keep it simple okay. You can either cut back the calories so you're in a deficit or increase the activity to burn the calories. Keep it simple guys, that's day one. I'm going to go chill with my family, watch a movie. Hope you enjoyed this. It has been fairly boring, but don't worry. I'll pack up in the next few days to come. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Hit that, subs hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. If you want to follow me on this journey and hopefully learn a bit more as well for your own sake. And yeah, if you like it, leave a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.